captain of the sirens. What I'm bringing to the sirens uh, is hopefully a lot of fun, whilst also um, kind of trying to break down a lot of stereotypes around women playing rugby. So quite often I meet people and their immediate reaction is, well, you're not a female rugby player because you're not butch and massive and broad. Um, so I'd quite like to break down some stereotypes. I want to make it accessible to everyone. Um, so we have loads of women playing at the moment, very different ranges, very different abilities. Um, and we have a great lot of fun. So actually it doesn't matter how strong you are or how fit you are. Um, we try and make it accessible to everyone. Um, also in the role, I think it's to try and unite everyone. So actually we are one club as it is anyway, but bringing that through um, and making sure that all the girls are welcomed and that I keep going back to it, but just that we have a lot of fun. So recent success includes um, onboarding of quite a few new players um, and also kind of really positive feedback from them. I think it's quite successful. So it's quite daunting when you join a club and especially when it's a team that's already formed. So we, we formed in 2015 and we've been going for quite a long time, but new people into the club are saying how welcoming it is, how friendly everyone is. Um, we started pre-season fitness and we're getting a really good turnout. People are actually like really on board with it, even though I'm there grueling them, beasting them all. Um, we're also doing work out of the weeks and that's become really successful with all the girls getting involved. Um, a little bit of competitive edge now and again um, to try and outbeat each other, outperform. Um, I think the new people brought a lot of new energy along. Um, they're really enthusiastic, they're really keen to get involved and they've just basically turned up and, and joined in and I think they already feel a part of the team which is really nice because we're not actually doing contact yet, we're not doing, um, not even especially doing rugby skills, we're just doing fitness and they're already sort of feeling passionate about stuff and they're really on board so. I would probably be hanging from a silk somewhere upside down. Yeah. So my, a hobby that I came up, like developed, developed? A hobby that I started last year was aerial silks or aerial yoga where you basically hang upside down and do all sorts of fun things in the air and I love that but I actually love rugby because it's more of a team sport. The vision of the Sills is to unite a community through rugby. Um, we welcome girls of all ages so seven plus, um, all ages and then all abilities, strong, big, little, petite, small, everyone basically. So my favourite sign in memory, I couldn't pick one so I've actually picked two. So the first one, um, we were all quite new and a girl called Lauren was playing. She's actually my little sister, she was terrible at rugby. Um, but she didn't know the rules and tackled someone who didn't have the ball and gave away her first ever try penalty, so it was amazing. Um, and the second one is goes to Darcy Burke when, I can't even remember who we were playing, but basically Darcy's quite petite and we were playing a team who had a very large, strong female player who had gained momentum from running down a hill. Darcy went to tackle her, didn't quite take her out, but hung on to her anyway, and basically bounced all the way down the hill with her to the try line. And it was hilarious, because she wasn't giving up. She was in for all to try and take her out, um, but it just didn't quite work. Some of the personal reasons for accepting the role would probably be around breaking down the stereotypes of women, um, including everyone. So being physically active is really important it's really good for you it's good for you socially mentally rugby's really great in terms of disciplining yourself and challenging yourself and i think it's just it's a really accessible sport so for me to be the captain of the team and to try and encourage that and get everyone on board and bring everyone into the fold it just gives me a, a personal opportunity and a challenge that i really want to develop and try and really bring out the team um, we want the Sirens to be the biggest, baddest, fiercest, fiercest female team in Solihull. We train on a Thursday from 7pm um, every week and we potentially will be also running fitness when we're back up and running on a Tuesday from 7. No, no, no.